YouTube, it's me again, Brandon. You're watching another episode called Hanging with Brandon. And happy Thanksgiving! Which is why on today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how to make a Thanksgiving meal. I'm so excited. I just really hope I can make a perfect good Thanksgiving dinner. So, let's not waste any time and let's get started. Okay, now I'm right here I have a, how many pounds of this turkey? 14. I have a 14 pound turkey over here. Now, the first thing you do is rinse it, and then you go inside right here, get close to me, right here where the cavity is, where you get all the nasty stuff, and it gives like, you shove yourself, your hands way in there to rip it off, to get all that stuff. <coughs> okay, and then you put some Swanson broth, and then I put some corn mix, just so you can put any kind of seasoning you like in your turkey. You can, and if you want to, well, you can put some stuff in me and my family. We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna put any stuffing in the cavity. If you wanna learn how to do that, I would strongly suggest you should check another video out for that. Yeah. We will have stuffing now. We just don't put it in the bird. Well, yes, of course. I just try to tell the viewers so, you know, they yeah. wanna put stuffing inside their turkey. Right. Yeah. So we're gonna put it here in a in our oyster roaster. Yeah, in our oyster roaster. Some of you can put it in the oven to bake, or if you have a big slow cooker, yep. use whatever. And we're gonna let it cook for four hours. Yes, yeah, four hours. Uh, is it turned on? Yep, it's on. Oh. And the instructions are usually on the turkey on the back. That's what we looked yes. at. Yep, that's what we looked at. And how many temperature is it? I want to say it said 350. Yep, 350. Yep. And it's been cooked for like three hours. and. Make sure you always put lots of seasoning in your turkey because you don't want to be nice. Well, you don't want to be bland. And sorry I'm mumbling, folks. And you don't like boring. You like a nice flavor. Yep. yep. And then I'll be right with you with the rest of the food that we're going to prepare with. We're going to be making mashed potatoes. We're going to make stuffing. Oh, we even have those lovely rolls over there. Like, oh, those, those are dinner rolls. Yeah, dinner rolls. What else are we going to have with that? We'll probably have some corn and green beans. Ooh, yeah. that Yeah, we're, I'm going to prepare that too as well. Yep, and then we'll have, I think we still have some green salad if you want that. Yeah, now I have some bunch of potatoes here. Rinsed and clean. I'm going to peel them and then I'm going to rinse them again. I'm going to cube them and then I'm going to put them in the pot over there. Okay. How many potatoes are there in there, Timmy? Five pounds. Okay. Now, I'm going to peel this one, and I'm going to show you how to cube them. We peel them really good. All right. Mm. I hope you're all having a very happy Thanksgiving. Just to let you know, we're not going to do any yams or green bean uh, casserole or all that stuff. And maybe you have yeah, different side dishes to use, like maybe macaroni and cheese or rice or whatever it is you like to do. Hey, go for it. But me, today we're doing old fashioned mashed potato stuffing, rolls. Oh, yeah, we won't have cranberry sauce. Okay, now I'm gonna rinse this. <laughs> Silly gravity, always such a nuisance. Yeah, so you rinse the potatoes really good, and then you cube them. Quarter them. Right. And you gotta be careful how you cut cut them. Okay. 
So you want them like, like these, cube size. Well, no, you have them small enough to boil. We're just gonna boil them in the water anyways. Thank you, Jamie. same with the rest of them and I'm gonna put them and I'll let you know when they're ready and all of them in the pot and I'll be right with you folks and here's another trick you can do you can also do this but you gotta be careful Much more simple than the way I did it. And I'm gonna keep on peeling more potatoes and put them in the pot, and then I'm gonna show you what else I'm, I'm gonna do. I'll probably put some salt, pepper, and butter. I would, yep, yeah, some butter, and I would put some garlic powder in it, but they don't want garlic mashed potatoes, so that's okay. So I'm gonna keep on peeling potatoes, and I'm very with you folks. Now, we have all of our potatoes in there. And we turn it up to high, is that correct, Kim? Yep. Get higher, and then we put some salt in there. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to wait for like how many minutes again? Well, we're going to bring it to a boil. Then yes. turn it down, put the lid on, let it cook. And then until it's fork tender. Fork tender? No, fork. Fork tender. Okay, and how long do we wait for that? Uh, usually takes maybe 10 or 15 minutes. 10 or 15 minutes, okay. And here, we're going to make stuffy. As you hear, we have half a butter in here. And strongly suggest use real butter. Don't use the fake butter BS, okay? Use real butter. Right. And we're doing old fashioned stove top stuffing. Well, that's not old fashioned. Well, well, the point is we're using stove top. Yeah, we yeah. are. I just love that stuff. It has like the best balance of herbs and spices. It's like the perfect stuffing. But unfortunately, we're not gonna put this inside our bird. Nope, it's gonna be separate. Yes. I bet it be, would be delicious if we put it inside the turkey. Probably would be. Yeah. And our turkey's been in there for like how many minutes? Oh, it's been in there since uh, 8.30, so do you wanna check on it? 8.30, and now it's gonna be two o'clock. Do you wanna check on it? Sure. Yep, let's check, see how it is. Okay, it's hot, hot, hot. You gotta right. get a hot You're right. pad. You're right. I, here we go. Found it. Emily, please, please be careful. Yes, check it out. Look at that color, folks. Look at that. Oh, you did a good job on Golden the turkey, brown. Brandon. Yeah. Looks really good. Yeah, it does. Nice. There we go. We're, and we're going to let it cook some more for another, how many minutes? It's kind of foggy. Sorry, the steam came up on the camera. Oh, no matter. I fixed that. Okay. Come over here. Okay. Come over here. Tur we'll probably be eating in about an hour. Yep. Can you see me good now? Yep. Yeah, sorry about that, folks. The steam kind of hit the camera, and you probably had trouble seeing me. So, and I hope the turkey doesn't get burnt. Did we look? Should we lower the? Turkey? I did lower it. Oh, yeah. great! I great. turned it down. Just keep it warm now. Okay, good. Oh, I didn't close the door all the way. Let <laughs> me say so. <laughs> what is wrong with you today, Brandon? You got always have one of these. You don't want to burn your hands. Sometimes I have no common sense. Well. We're going to wait for the potatoes to boil, and once we're done, we're going to close, like, what would you say again? We're going to put the lid on and let it cook for 10 to 15 minutes. Yes, until it's nice and soft. Then we're going to drain them, and then we're going to put some salt and pepper, mm -hmm. and some butter, and, well, you know what? I'll just show you, and I'll be right with you, folks. Now, I drained the potatoes. I let it drain a little more, so make sure the water off. I have some half a butter in there. Make sure you put half a butter in there. And now I'm gonna use the masher to mash them up. Yeah, just make sure you always put butter before you put your potatoes in. Yeah, yeah. half, yeah, half of butter. And like I said, use real butter, not fake butter. Yeah, don't use no fake stuff. That's BS. What you just don't like taste of fake. The real butter tastes delicious, doesn't it? Yes. This is real butter, right? Yes. Thank God. Mash, mash. Oh, I got some over there. That's okay, just leave it out. Okay. I want to make sure. 
Don't want to let no potatoes escape. Okay, and then do I put the cream in? Um, you want to go ahead and pour about half of that in there. That's heated up milk. So oh, it's, geez. it's, yeah, that doesn't pour real great. Yeah. Good thing I got it like that. That's good. Yeah. And then you can see if you need to add more later. Okay. Let me wash it up. That's a really bad cup. I don't know why it did that. It should be going like I should that have, way. I should have given you a pouring cup. Sorry. No worries. Okay. Mash, mash. And I hope it's still warm. Well, it looks warm to me. Oh, okay. Now you can, if you want to, you can use the mixer. All right. Okay. See how mashed they are, folks? Oh, one escaped. Pity. All right. Hope I got the butter in good. Make sure. Now I'm going to use the mixer. I'm gonna pull this in. Okay, here we go. Now I'm gonna put it in there first. And slowly. Okay. All right. Get it really good. You gotta always put it in there first before you turn it on. I'm gonna start with low. Look how fluffy they're getting, folks. Look how fluffy they're getting. Okay. Those are looking good, aren't they? Yeah, they are. All right. Should I put more cream in, or is that enough cream? I think that's enough. It doesn't look like a good consistency to you. Yeah, it looks fine to me. No, I think it looks pretty good. Ooh, forgot to put another ingredient in. Okay. Black pepper. And I should, should I put salt? I don't want to risk it being high blood pressure. You can add salt to taste, so that means that you can add it when you eat it if you want salt. Don't you think? Yeah. All right. That's okay. You don't have to worry about getting that out, but I'd push the sides down. Oh, good idea. Yeah. The mixer will spit that out. There you go. Okay. I'm going to grab some salt. A little dab. Let me know when, Timmy. Good. Yeah, I won't put too much salt. Okay, now you've got it. The mixer will blend that for you if you want to keep mixing, make it nice and fluffy. Okay. There we go. Make sure you stay down. Look at our lovely mashed potatoes, folks. Those look so good. You did a beautiful job. I had help, of course. You can't take all the credit. Yeah. I think they look great. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this, folks. Perfect, Perfect mashed potatoes. Nice. Those are good looking mashed potatoes I've ever made. Yeah. And now, I now later on I will be making stuffing and I'll be right with you folks. Okay, I put, we put, well, we put one half cups of water and one half a stick of butter and we're gonna wait till the water boils and then I'm gonna put this in it and I'm gonna let it cook for like how many minutes again? Um, once it absorbs all the moisture, the water, then you, just, you want to put the lid on, let it absorb the moisture, and then it's ready. All right, sounds like a great idea. Until then, we'll wait, and we'll be right with you. Here we have some lovely dinner rolls. We're gonna wrap them in aluminum foil, and we're gonna put it in the oven for like, how many minutes? Oh, maybe five minutes. We're just gonna heat up. All right, yeah. And you can use any kind of your favorite rolls if you like, or if you don't have to use rolls at all, you can make croissants or your water's boiling. Ooh, very. Ooh, yes. Uh, here, Timmy. Take that real quick. 
Okay, now, now the turn the heat down. Turn the okay, so like this? Just turn it off. Oh, okay. Then I the scissors real quick. Alright, folks. Now, now the water's boiling and the butter's melted. You gotta turn off the heat and then pour this in, all of the stuffing. Oh yeah, here we go. And, and then you wanna get a fork and you wanna level that out. Right, level. right, right, right. Level it out. I'm working on it. I removed it from the heat so it wouldn't keep evaporating yeah. this. There we go. There we go. There you go. Now you can put the lid on. Make sure it's all good. Yep. There we go. Get the lid on there. There. And then just let it sit. For how long? Until we're ready to eat, it'll be ready. Whenever we're ready to eat, it'll be ready. I always stir it up good. Should I stir up some more? No, you did good. You did it really good. All right. And we've got our. Oh, should I put the rolls in the oven? Yeah, you can put the rolls in the oven, and I gotta make the gravy. Yes, you gotta make gravy. So one of my roommates make baked acorn squash. It looks very syrupy. Like, what did you put, Chris? Uh, brown sugar. Oh, brown sugar. And it's a good. And here we have store-bought pumpkin pie. Sorry, folks, I don't know how to make pumpkin pie. Now here, Tammy's taking some what's left from the. What do you call that stuff, Tammy? The broth from the turkey. Yes. To make gravy. Check this out, folks. Look how beautiful and succulent this turkey is. I think we all did a wonderful job making it. And it was in there for like, let's see, we put it there like at 8 o'clock, was it? It was around 8.30. It, yeah, we put it at 8.30, and now it's like 2, it was like 2.40. Which yeah, it didn't, need, it didn't have to cook that long. It was 14 pounds, but we cooked it a little longer, but we turned it, we turned the temperature down, so it's okay. Yep. Yeah, and I'm, I have a good feeling. Okay, maybe what did you uh, put in the gravy, like besides the stuff from the turkey? I put a packet of chicken gravy. You could use chicken or turkey gravy mix. I just put a packet in there. All right, I'll bring it to a boil. Then I'll put some cornstarch. Cornstarch, okay. Cold water cornstarch. It's a thickener. It'll thicken the gravy. Mm -hmm. And we'll be good. All right. And we'll be right with you folks and show you how it turned out. This out, folks. Everything. Now look how beautiful that yeah, my roommate Chris carved this turkey. We got some dark meat, some white meat. Oh, it's so succulent. And we got our stuffing, and we got some squash and corn, and we also got the yummy mashed potatoes. And all we need is the gravy and the rolls, and we are all set for Thanksgiving. Oh, everything looks so good. And I'm also going to do a small mud bank of my dinner. And I'll be right with you, folks. Okay, I got everything I need. I got my turkey, potatoes, okay, stuffing, yeah. and the corn. Yep. I cooked some, We cooked some canned corn and chicken. Sorry I didn't show you the gravy, folks, but look how it turned out. See how thick it is? Mmm. Not bad. Yeah, that's what I'm going to try right now. The first thing I'm going to try is the squash. Mm. Mushy and... Don't like it? Hold on. Give me a chance to taste it, Amy. Mm. Mm. Not bad. Almost reminds me of pumpkin pie. Got a good flavor. Mm. Which we're having store-bought pumpkin pie, by the way. But it's better than no pie at all. Now, I'm going to try this... The turkey, I'm gonna try the dark meat. Mm. Next you'll have to make a big pie. Mm. Yeah. Mm, very good. Oh, I forgot to grab some napkins, silly me. Be right back. Mm -hmm. Anybody want a napkin? Alright, now. Got it. I haven't had real potatoes in a while, but it is so good. Yeah, which reminds me, I'm gonna have some of those lovely potatoes. Mm. Mm. Very fluffy. Mm. Mm. I don't feel like I put enough pepper in it. You can always add more pepper. Mm. I'm going to try a little bit of the stuffing. Mm. Of course. Mm. But it's good. This is what I like to do. I like to mix my potatoes and corn with the stuffing together. All at one. 
Now, I know some of you probably think it's gross, but trust me, it's really delicious. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, and here's some white meat. Mm. Mm. A little dry, but not bad. <laughs> sorry. Don't have to be sorry. Mm. Mm. When I try the potatoes again, they're actually really good. <coughs> I must have tried a part where they didn't have no pepper and butter and salt. You get a plain bite? Yeah, I did. But I'm sure it's good now. And this is something I like to do. I grabbed a lovely dinner roll. This is what I love to do. A little bit of this. And I'm going to try. And I'll put some turkey. Mmm, give me dark meat. You like the dark meat better than the white meat, don't you? Well, yeah, why not? No, I'm, there's no right or wrong. It's okay. It's okay, Tammy. It's all good. I just like the white meat. That's fair enough. Oh, and my roommate made double eggs. Tammy didn't want to, uh... Well... She's a bit camera shy sometimes. But she did make but she did make interesting double eggs. I'm not a big fan of double eggs, but they are. They put some like a uh, I think the, is that paprika they put? Yeah. And I'm glad you're enjoying it. And I'm gonna keep on enjoying this little meal. I hope you all have a really happy Thanksgiving. And whatever it is you're gonna make, I'm sure it'll be very delicious. Mmm. I'm sorry I'm going to have to leave you folks, but I want to keep on enjoying my wonderful Thanksgiving meal. Well, thanks for watching. Now leave your comments, and if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. The one on the right. You all have a happy Thanksgiving. Happy take Thanksgiving. Yep, happy Thanksgiving. You all take care now. I'll see you all next time.